Hey guys, I got a cool tool for you. Um, let's say that you have a scene here, which I can just reconstruct real quick. We have SM cube one and SM cube two. Bring in cube one and duplicate him. If you duplicate him, it now says cube two, but we already have an asset called cube two. So if we drag that into the scene, we get cube three up here. And that can kind of be problematic because sometimes we're working with scenes that have huge numbers of static mesh actors and based on the naming conventions of something you get from your art department, they might not work well together. So what if we wanted to replace a whole bunch of them? Well, now we don't know which ones to select in the outliner uh, to go through and replace by hand here. So what do we do? Uh, luckily, that's really easy to do with a simple script here. Um, we can select <coughs> so, uh, here, go through the scene and get all of this mesh and replace it with this mesh. Hit replace. And this one that I replaced the material on, it also did replace it. But let's say if I set this back here that we also wanted to replace the materials well we have a checkbox for that right here you can hit that and it also grabs the material that's on the asset in the content browser and applies it uh, this is real simple to make let me just reset the scene here cool so let me show you how to do that real quick um, so first thing in plugins make sure that you have the editor scripting utilities plugin enabled. That's what lets you make editor widgets. So then in your content browser, right click and go to editor utilities and create an editor utility widget. Name it whatever you want. All right, so we can open this guy up and we'll, here we are in the canvas. Let's add a vertical box to keep things organized. And then I'm gonna make this guy bigger. And then we'll add a button, and we'll add some text to the button, and then on here we'll put replace meshes, whatever you want really, and I'm just going to make the text black. Then we're going to add a details view, put that in the vertical box. Now we have three attributes that we want to add to this. Um, in the original one we had original mesh, replacement mesh, and replace materials. Okay, so here in properties to show, we're going to add three and name them original mesh, replacement mesh, and replace materials. Great. Uh, so as it is right now, excuse me, as it is right now, if you run this, um, it just says undefined object. Our button does show up. So in the graph view, uh, we'll get rid of these two and keep pre-construct here. We will drag the details view in and off of that, say set object. All right, and hook that up to the pre-construct. And then the only other thing that we have to do is get a reference to self, put that in the new object. Now, if we run this, it doesn't say that anymore. It's technically displaying. We just don't have the variables hooked up yet. All right, so organize that tiny bit. Now we'll add three variables. Uh, the first one will be our original mesh, just as we had typed in the details view, replacement mesh. And it has to be case sensitive and spacing sensitive. And replace materials. OK. And then here, original mesh and replacement mesh are going to be static mesh object references. OK, compile. Great. Now, when I run this utility widget, they all show up. Perfect. OK, so now if I come back to the designer and select our button and go all the way to the bottom here, click on pressed, now we can start adding our instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is get all level actors, because we have to go through the whole scene for each loop so we can go through each actor in the scene. And then we're only going to do this to the static meshes, so cast to static mesh actor. Great. And then we're going to get the static mesh component. Oops, that wasn't right. Static mesh component here. Cool. Then going to get static mesh. 
then we're going to drag in the original actor. So we have our static mesh component and the static mesh of that component. We're now going to do an equals comparison to see if the actor that we're currently going through in the for loop equals the original mesh, the ones that we want to go through. If they do equal each other, we will take from the static mesh component, say set static mesh, here, line that up, and we will add the replacement mesh to the new one. We'll rerun this. Alright, so if we have this one here and this one in here and we hit replace, it works. So this here got changed, um, but it did not replace the material. And currently if we have this on, um, I guess I'd have to do these backwards now. It's not going to replace the material yet. Let's hook up that. Alright, so then we do another branch. And off of that we'll do the replace material. Alright, so then off of here, I'm going to do extend this out a ways. And we're just going to let that sit there for a minute. I'm going to get the replacement mesh, get number of get number of materials on it. Um, we're going to subtract one from that, and then we're going to do a for loop out of this branch and plug this into last index. So the reason why is because materials um, in an array on a mesh go from 0 to uh, whatever is the last index number. So if you have four materials, that's 0 through 3 for their index numbers. Um, we're going to get material. It's not right. We'll do it off of this guy. Um, this one here. I'm drag these all out of the way. Um, then we can just hook up this index here. Wait, I misled you off of the replacement mesh to do get material. All right, my bad. Cool, so we're going to get the number of materials and then we're going to loop through each of them. Uh, so this is grabbing them from the one that we want to, the mesh that we want to be in the scene. We're going to go through all the materials that are on it and then we're going to apply them. This here goes to the static mesh component of the mesh in the scene. Uh, I'll bring this over here and say set material. And the index will line up and this will go in there and that should be it. So I'll just zoom out a little bit here so we can see that. Um, and then let's go ahead and run it. Great. So we'll just set up the scene again. Put that on there. Okay, so then say we want to take all of these because this guy is originally cube one and replace it with cube two and we want to replace the materials. We hit this and now it works. Perfect. So there you go. Hope that helps.